Okay, so here's the truth. Loyalty is tripping a lot of y'all up and keeping you stuck in jobs that are no longer serving you. I'm Ashley. I'm the lead mentor for Mentor Me. And today we're going to talk about loyalty for what? (laughs) Right? tell you that I have a bad reputation as it relates to loyalty and career. When I was younger, my friends would joke that Ashley can't keep a job because as soon as I felt like I was disrespected, I was dismissed, I wasn't being paid the value of my expertise, if I didn't feel like um, you know my work was appreciated in a meaningful way, I would go and find another job. And I have always knew the worth of my expertise and I wouldn't allow myself to be disrespected or devalued at work. And over time, I have been able to better refine the employers that I choose. And I, um, over the course of my career, have had great experiences with employers and have stayed for, you know, years and years because of the positive and supportive relationship that we've had. So this is no longer my story. But um, I think that one of the things that I've learned very early that I recognize a lot of the women that I serve um, struggle with is this sense of loyalty that is keeping them in a job for far too long. And let me be clear that um, there are lots of things to be loyal to. It's important to be loyal to uh, your craft. It's important to be loyal to your sense of worthiness. It's important to be loyal to, um, you know, um, ensuring that your expertise is valued. But if that's not, if that loyalty is not um, returned to you, if there's no reciprocity in the loyalty experience, then you should never be loyal to a job that is not loyal to you, right? Um, So often I hear professional women saying, well, I stay for the benefits as if no other job has good benefits. Or I stay um, because of the flexibility as if no other job allows hybrid and remote work. Or I stay because I know everyone as if you can't get to know everyone somewhere else, right? I hear these reasons and dare I say excuses for why high achieving professional women who have a ton of value stay in jobs that no longer value them for far too long. And what I want to share with you is loyalty is not a bad word. It's not a dirty word. It's not shameful to be loyal. Let me be clear. But you should always be more loyal to yourself, more loyal to your values, more loyal to your desire to drive impact than you are loyal to a check, loyal to a boss, loyal to, you know, um, a mission centered job. And I see these challenges with loyalty most often happening with women and most often happening in service based uh, industries. You know, my mentees who work in nonprofit, in the healthcare system, um, with students or vulnerable communities, they are most vulnerable themselves often to falling into this loyalty trap, right? Um, I see women who um, have a heart and a passion for what they do. And so because they have a heart and because they have a passion for the communities they serve, they stay in jobs far past their expiration date, right? You're still in a service-based job front-facing clients when you have 10 years of experience, right? I will never forget, I had a mentee who had a master's degree, had seven years of experience and helped low income communities and families. And she was making the same amount of money as many of her clients. She was on a lot of the same community based or government based services as her clients because she wasn't commanding the kind of salary that she should have at her level of career. Right. So we can no longer be more loyal to the clients or to the cause than we are to ourselves. 
right? And if you find yourself being more loyal to your students, the cause, the community, uh, you know, the work that you are to your own values, to you are to your own desire to advance in your career, to make appropriate levels of money, to be compensated appropriately, uh, to be respected in your work. If you're more loyal to the community than you are to yourself, then that is a red flag and that's a problem. So because I said that loyalty wasn't a bad word, because I said that loyalty wasn't a bad thing, I want to give you some some insight on what you can be loyal to, right? Loyalty is not a bad word. It's not a bad thing. We want to make sure we're loyalty, loyal to the right thing. So number one, you can be loyal to your craft. Be loyal to your craft. Ensure that you're reviewing recent literature about your field, that you're attending regional and international conferences to hear from industry experts, right? If you're working off insight and knowledge from your field from 10 years ago, you're not loyal to your field. You're not loyal to this work because you don't even know what's happened in this work in the last three years, five years, 10 years, right? Be up on the literature, be up on the lingo, be up on the insider knowledge. You, you need to be, don't be loyal to an employer. Don't be loyal to a boss. Don't be loyal to one specific community. Be loyal to the craft. Be loyal to the, the bigger mission of the work, right? Let me give you an example. Um, I work with a lot of um, women in um, that work with vulnerable communities, right? Um, you know, work with homeless communities, for example, right? They need to know that the language is shifting with those communities. It's no longer called homelessness. It's often called housing insecurity. It's no longer called soup kitchens. We talk about food insecurity, right? If you were loyal to your craft, you would know the 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 current way to talk about that community and the problems that they're facing, right? You want to always be loyal to the craft, right? You don't necessarily have to focus on being loyal to um, just the job or just your boss. Another way to be loyal is to share your good ideas. A lot of times we stay in jobs well past our expiration date and work, and, and hold all of our best ideas um, away from the organization. Well, I ain't going to tell them nothing. They don't listen to me. I'm not going to say nothing. Why are you still there then? If you're not at a job, if you're not with an employer who um, for which you can share your good ideas, then it's not an employer you should be at, right? If you're not at an employer where you can freely and with good faith, share your good ideas, share your best ideas, share your insight, share your expertise, then it's not an employer you should be at. You want to work somewhere where you know that they value your expertise and they're eager to hear from you, right? Be loyal to sharing your good ideas. Be loyal to sharing your expertise. Be loyal to helping the organization succeed, right? If you work in an organization where they're not willing to hear you out, where they're not willing to take on your good ideas and your good insight, then that's not an employer you want to work at, right? You want to be loyal to helping the organization advance, but not at your detriment, <laughs> right? Yeah, you want to be loyal to helping the organization be better, have more visibility, serve more people, but not if they're paying you pennies, right? It's okay to be loyal to yourself and loyal to the organization. Um, one Another way to be loyal is to be available to junior level staff, right? If, if, you know, if there's an opportunity for you to mentor incoming staff, if there's an opportunity for you to be a part of the new hire welcome team, do that. That's a great way to be loyal because loyalty often is about legacy, right? So answer their questions, share insight on how to advance in the organization, right? Being loyal doesn't mean being stuck. Being loyal doesn't mean not moving up. It means moving up, moving out sometimes, right? But while you're there, be available to share with junior staff. Be willing to, to, to share your insights. Um, but don't be sharing so much that you get stuck. Don't, don't be, avoid um, giving out all of your best ideas, all of your best insight and your best knowledge and not being appropriately compensated for that. Right. Too often I see that high achieving professional women uh, remain loyal to an employer because, you know, it's a good job or, uh, you know, I can't take my skills anywhere else or no one else will hire me. Right. Um, we, we, we begin to believe these myths. Um, you know, we've got it in our head that no one else will value us. No one else will, will see our expertise. Um, and we stay in with employers far too long. And so, 
if you're going to be loyal, be loyal to your craft. Be loyal to sharing good ideas. Be loyal to mentoring and supporting junior level staff. But don't be loyal to a boss or a job or an employer or an industry that doesn't see your value, that doesn't see your worth, and isn't supportive of you advancing in a meaningful way. I'm Ashley, and if you are a professional woman who's looking for expert level mentorship to help you make more money and have more impact and advance your career and disrupt some of this loyalty guilt that you feel when trying to advance your career, I'm the mentor for you. I'm excited to help you um, honor the fact that you can be loyal to yourself, you can be loyal to your values. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be loyal to a job that's not loyal to you, right? And so if that's something you need support with, I'm accepting you mentees and I'm so excited to support you. Applications for my mentorship programs are open. It's a free application. All you have to do is go to my website at mentor-me.org. Again, that's M-E-N-T-O-R-me.org. All you have to do is go to that website. You can schedule a call with me. My calendar is at the top of the website. Go ahead and schedule that call. Let's hop on a call. Let's talk about what's working well in your career. Let's talk, let's talk about where you're challenged in your career. And let's work forward um, in helping you get unstuck from a job that's not being loyal to you and move forward in your career being loyal to your word that I'm going to get a new job this year, being loyal to your word that I am going to increase my salary this year, being loyal to your word that I'm going to finally learn how to use this degree that I've had for three years that I don't know how to use, right? We want to be loyal to using the skills and the LinkedIn certification classes that we've taken that we have not appropriately used. We want to be, we want to be loyal to honoring the red flags that we see every month in our staff meeting and actually not staying in this job anymore, right? We want to be loyal to our word we want to be loyal to doing what we said we was going to do three years ago right you said you was going to get a new job in 2021 it's 2024 <laughs> right like let's be loyal to ourselves first never to a job um be loyal to your craft, be loyal to sharing good ideas, be loyal to supporting junior staff but never be loyal to an employer who is not loyal to you I hope this uh, session um, was supportive and helpful to you. If it was, shoot me a DM. I'm excited to talk to you more about loyalty and how to interrupt any um, loyal behavior that's holding you back in your career. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.